surprise. He died of a gunshot wound in the brain of a bullet right through the head. John Kennedy was obviously shot from the front. Everybody knows it. Virtually everybody in Dealey Plaza uh, rushed to the grassy knoll where they heard the sounds. They came from a fence uh, between the book depository and the railroad track. From behind the overpass over there, a uh, triple overpass. Right over about 20 or 30 feet from the other end of that little picket fence. And it sounded like it came from the left and in front of us, towards the wooden fence. And there was a puff of smoke that came underneath the trees. We all three seen, four seen about the same thing as the shot. The smoke came from behind the hedge. And then as the cart got directly in front of us, well, a gunshot apparently from behind us hit the president in the side, side of the temple. Did, did you, do you think the first gunshot came uh, from behind you, too? I, I think it came from the same location, uh, uh, apparently back up on the, the uh, uh, mall. When I stated, I felt like the second and third shots could not have been fired from the same rifle. Uh, they um, reminded me that I wasn't an expert. So what is this image? Again. The exact moment the well, fatal bullet struck the president in the right, head. Right Some believe that one of these shadows may be an assassin standing well, behind the fence. Yep. Lee Bowers, a railroad employee who was working. Fatal bullet struck yep, the president in the side. head. Some right, believe right that one of these shadows may be an assassin standing behind the fence. Some believe that one of these shadows may be an assassin standing behind the fence. As you can see, I was uh, taking extreme close-ups of that many years ago. One of these shadows... This blob right here that doesn't appear to be not like much, just that uh, I... Well, anyhow, I was taking a lot closer look here. Let's see if you see what I saw. Getting to see a face here, a face here. What really caught my eye was this upside down stripe here. I couldn't figure out what that could have been. So I was looking a little closer. So that's a little closer up of that image right here. As you can see, this is on the, uh, this is caught, picked up on television as they zoomed in on the Mormon photo. This was in a book, double page enlargement. So you get the gist of it. I was looking there and let's take a knife. Here's some of the images I've extracted from that. How about a colorized version? One face there, one face here. I got all kinds of images here. 
Yes, there it is. Here's an independent close-up somebody did. I don't even know who it was, but this was a digitally enhanced uh, version of the Mormon photo. Uh, they never even noticed this. I made a uh, enlargement and I put it up here in the front. They were looking back here. Back along here. And that may not... I know it's hard to see. I didn't see it for several minutes. And once I started putting the pieces together, once the brain starts putting the pieces together, like I say, all I was looking at was this upside down V. Let's see, there should be something. Yes, that upside down V. And then I noticed there were a few others. There was this, what appears to be a circle here, just above that. And then I started putting the pieces together. You start seeing the faces. Once you start seeing the faces, understand this is the left arm. channel that's the close up again I'm losing my where's the color there's the color So there's definitely something very unusual there, <laughs> to say the least. And when you put it put it all together, uh, I can find that one again. Well, anyways, here's an here's an even more extreme close-up. Let me see if I move that in a little. Now, this is very curious that at that distance, <laughs> I mean, it's picking up this, and it does look like some writing much similar to this that's and that's a very long distance but anyways I can't get this to work so anyhow it's very curious that uh, if I can find that one It's very curious that you'd have two images like that found in this one photograph. And not only that, <laughs> but an image like that also. Uh, now, Anyone who thinks of the light, lights and shadows, uh, there's always a possibility of lights and shadows, but those are the damnedest lights and shadows I've ever seen. And as far as I'm concerned, this makes more sense than anything. 